You're probably wondering why I don't have a wheelbarrow. And I do, but it's in Michigan. <laughs> You're excited. Are you gonna test it out? Yeah. Does the seat actually come off or does it? Oh no, it's broken, but I'll just glue it back on. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. They have keys? I didn't realize they had keys. I mean, you could probably use a screwdriver too, but. <laughs> has begun. I'm a hot mess. I've been cleaning the bathroom, but we have a lawn mower. We can get the garlic bed started once this is mowed. Yay! And walk around the property. Hey guys! So, it is lunchtime right now, and I am out by the garden and I am going to map out our two garlic beds. We're gonna do uh, two four by 12 beds, I think will be enough. We have 340 cloves, should be plenty. And I might actually get some like soft neck just from the store to see if it grows well. So just for a test, but I have a compass on my phone and I'm gonna try and do the beds actually like north to south, but the garden's kind of like wonky shaped so it might be a little off which is fine okay so i actually decided i'm going to show you what i did first so i got a painter stick this one's used <laughs> and i just took this string and i measured it in three foot lengths because i want a three foot bed at the edge of the garden over here and then a three foot pathway and then we're doing four foot by 12 foot beds um for now this might change in the future but i did so i did three feet another three feet for the walkway and then I let 12 feet go it's kind of tangled and then I did a knot at the 12 foot line and then a four foot one so I can map out like half the bed and then I'll just use this for the other half of course I tangled it when I was showing it to you so now I get to untangle it first right. stick it in the ground I'm gonna stick it in the ground at the fence line Alright, good enough. We have it we have two four foot by 12 foot ish garlic beds um you can kind of see them i put the string around most of them over there i ran out a little but i don't feel like doing it look at that 
there will be garlic planted there hopefully in the next week. Get some cardboard, I gotta order some compost, but yeah, look at it. Those garden beds are right there that I just put in. There's one right there and then the second one. And then eventually there will be more over here and the greenhouse will be like in the center over there and we'll have lots of other beds. Lunchtime's over. Lunchtime is over and I need to get back to work. So I'm gonna go do that, pick up my stuff and get back to this later. crazy. It looks different. Good morning. I just wanted to hop out here and show you the tarp that I laid down. Well, the three tarps I laid down in front of the garden because hopefully shortly, like within the next hour or so, that will be a large pile of compost. <laughs> and then we can get our garlic planted. So, I just wanted to show you what it looks like before because soon there's going to be a small mountain here. I guess while we're out here I will show you the garden currently as well. It's a hot mess. I'm only going to be able to plant part of the garlic today because whew, some bright sunshine. I only had that much cardboard. So that's my plan for tonight is to get at least part of this bed planted. I have a few more cardboard boxes. I might be able to like finish this bed off. I still have to do that whole bed. We have clothes hanging. <laughs> I might make another bed pretty much where the clothesline is. We'll see. I have shallots to plant too. I think some of my garlic might have gotten bad, gone bad. Um, we'll just kind of play it by ear. But there might be another bed that goes under where the clothesline is. I'll probably have to move the clothesline. Yeah, because I want to get shallots planted and I would like to have some sort of like mini row covered area or like 
a place that I can plant some kale, just some greens for the winter, just to grow something because, you know, growing things is fun. So, um, that's all I have for you. So hopefully the uh, compost guy shows up soon. It's here. We can make our garlic beds now. <laughs> Look how much that is. It didn't even fit on the tarp. There's so much of it, but I tried. At least some of it's there. But I am not gonna do all of it right now because it's lunchtime and I have tofu to press. I have uh, like tuna salad to make. I have bread to make and salsa to make. So I can't spend all my lunch hour doing this, but I'm gonna spend a little bit of it because I'm excited. Also, this smells really bad. It smells like compost. Look at how huge this pile is. This is 10 yards of compost. Like I said, I'm not gonna do all of it. I don't have cardboard on all of it, but I am gonna put a few scoops on here just for the fun of it. And uh, I'll probably do the rest of this bed later if I can scrounge up enough cardboard. So I'll at least do most of the bed. I have most of it covered already, so let's get to it. This is my wheelbarrow today. probably wondering why I don't have a wheelbarrow and I do but it's in Michigan <laughs> and uh, we haven't gotten all of our stuff yet we're not gonna get it for quite a while so this is what I get to do or just scoop a shovel and walk it over here that's just how it how it's gonna be <laughs> Good enough for now. 